In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us how to cut and sew a simple camisole that you can wear under um, all the lace dresses that are see-through. Okay, so you have to draft the camisole in such a way that um, the um, sleeve or let me say the strap is not coming out or it's too low or too high. You know, you have to adjust the busy body part in such a way that the camisole sits perfectly inside the dress. So I'll be showing us how to do this on my pattern paper, but you can call this right on your fabric. So the first line I have here is my shoulder line. Then my shoulder to chest line, I'm using 9 inches, okay? It has to be free enough, not um, tight around your armhole. Okay, so on the shoulder line, I'll mark half of my across back measurement, which is um, 7. I'll mark the same thing on my chest line, also 7. And then I'll draw a straight line like so. Okay, so next thing, I want to mark my bust circumference measurement so my bust circumference is 38 quarter of that is 9.5 i'll now add half inch for ease making 10. it's a camisole it's not supposed to be fitted okay now i'm going to mark my normal neck width and neck depth that is three inches okay then my shoulder slant is one inch i'll draw my shoulder slant so this is regular shoulder slant for regular blouse or dress okay so it is at this point now we're going to position the strap of the camisole okay so usually your camisole should not start from your regular shoulder tip okay so i want to use my chest line as a depth it has to be deep enough so that it's not coming out of the dress now the cut the position of the um strap now okay should be midway between the shoulder slant so i will find the midpoint of the shoulder slant i'll find the midpoint first then i will now mark the width of my um strap so i'm going to be doing three quarter of an inch on both sides so in total the length of my strap will be 1.5 yours can be one can be smaller than this okay so i'm marking three quarter of an inch on both sides of that line okay so I'll be drawing my neckline now from that new point, not from the original um, neck width. Okay, so I think I'll prefer to use my French curve to draw this. Let me just try and get it. Yeah, so I want to use my French curve. Okay. All right, so this is my French curve here. So let me just go over that again. I marked three quarter of an inch on both sides of the shoulder midpoint so you can see where i'm drawing so i'm drawing the neckline you can see where i said drawing the neckline from from that point then the armhole too will not start from your regular shoulder tip okay it will start from the three quarter inch point i marked right so i'm just going to um connect like so so you can see how the strap of my camisole is. You can see that it's not a regular, it's not a regular um, um bodies or shoulder. Sorry, um dress. It's not a normal strap. Okay. So now I will mark the measurement on my hemline. Though my paper is not long enough, I'm just using it to illustrate. When I transfer to my fabric, I'm going to make it um a bit longer. So on the hemline, you want to first of all mark quarter of your hip circumference. That's the first thing. Cut of the hip first. Mine is 10.5. Then I'll add, it depends on how wide I want it to be, probably 6, between 6 to 7 or 8 inches extra. So I'll use my long ruler to link that point to the chest line. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll link it with my long ruler there. So once I do this, I will transfer my marking to the fabric so on my fabric i'm using two yards of dolphin satin and i'm going to fold the fabric into two to cut the front and the back so here this is my fabric here it's on fold i added half inch seam allowance round there and then um side seam allowance also and then i made the camisole longer 
I made it longer because the dress is a short, sorry, it's a long dress. So I don't really like the idea of having a camisole short, okay? But you can make yours short, depending on what you want. So I'm just taking out the pins. The sewing is very straightforward, very, very straightforward. The most important thing is just cutting, which a lot of people always get wrong. So the sewing is quite straightforward. First thing first, I'll go ahead and join the two shoulders together. Wrong side facing, sorry, right side facing right side. I'll join it with half inch seam allowance, okay? So once I do that, I'll also use my bias tape to tape the neckline and to also tape the armhole. So I will do that and show us the um, outcome. Yeah, so here it is here. I've not ironed it anyway. I'm yet to press it. So I've turned the neckline, the armhole, my bias tape. By the time I press it, it's going to be more straightened, okay? Then I'll just go ahead and sew the side seams and I'll do a rolled M for the lower part of the camisole. And that's it. So I will just quickly um, wear it and show us what I've done so far. So here it is. Like I said, I've not ironed it yet, but then you can see the position of the um, <clears throat> Um, the strap it has to be in the middle of the shoulder, not towards the edge or close to the neckline. So I'm just going to pick the dress that I made that I want to wear this with. I'll just um, wear it and show us how it looks like. Like I'm already excited already. Like I'm going to rock this to church tomorrow for Easter. Okay. And I'll share with us the... Um, um, <laughs> the well snout picture okay so i'm just adjusting the camisole you can see that so you can see that it's not sticking out of the neckline the shoulder is not moving here and there it's just perfect so if you're plus size you might need to use two yards and above but i use two yards and for this dress also i use two yards of lace to make this dress okay and if you strap crap sorry scrap of my ankara fabric so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did let me give it a thumbs up leave a comment and reaction and if you want the tutorial of the main dress just check the comment section i'll be dropping the link to the tutorial i did on instagram and on facebook yeah i did a tutorial on how to make this dress so you can just click on it check the comment section click on the link or check the description box thank you so much for watching bye